it sounds like a herd of uh, galloping horses. This device represents a revolution for patients with end-stage heart failure. You know, for us to have people alive for months was a big deal. The fact that we're talking years now, uh, to me, is a you know huge milestone. Approved for use in 2004, the temporary total artificial heart is the first device that helps patients who cannot adequately pump blood from either side of their hearts. All the pumping chambers of the heart are removed. Unlike other devices that assist the heart, this technology replaces it. His uh, diseased heart is no longer in there. Uh, it's gone. Ladies and gentlemen, the 43rd member of the Rochester Americans Hall of Fame, Gates Orlando! Last March, former American League hockey star Gates Orlando was diagnosed with a rare form of heart failure, one that affects all four chambers. So he had the dysfunction, but he also was plagued by many uh, life-threatening heart arrhythmias. Orlando was given an implantable defibrillator that could shock his heart back into rhythm. His doctors say this device will provide him with more stability. This is something that doesn't just extend or prolong their lives, but actually nearly normalizes their quality of life. And that's one of the key components of this technology and its advancement. The longest anyone has used the total artificial heart is 46 months. Doctors are confident it could be used longer. And possibly in the future, it may also become a, a therapy, what we call destination therapy, as a therapy in and of itself as an end. In the meantime, this device should buy its patients some time. Our goals with him right now are uh, to get him up, get him mobile, get him fully healthy again, and then uh, you know, ultimately proceed on with a heart transplant uh, when the right donor heart becomes available. For Healthy Living, I'm Casey Portman.